Good morning, day 107. Um, you know, I think so. Um, I'm getting ready to leave this uh, the shelter. Um, the uh, Glen. I'm sorry, the Hemlocks, the Hemlock shelter. Yeah, I, uh, I was going to go to the Glen Anderson shelter, but came back here. Um, yeah, we had uh, quite a few people showed up last night, so it was good. I just needed the company of of even strangers, you know, so um, just to uh, improve my mood. I went back to 100 milligrams of trazodone last night. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't didn't help my sleep much, um, primarily because I was cold. It was cold last night. Uh, it got down to 55 degrees. Um, last I checked, it's probably a little colder than that here, but uh, yeah, I was disappointed that uh, the system that normally would keep me warm to 50 degrees did not keep me warm anymore. I put my puffy jacket back on in the wee hours of the morning. It was, was still cold. Um, so now I got a new source of anxiety. You know, I got I to gotta get my cold winter stuff back ASAP. And I'm looking and seeing, I'm trying to figure out where am I going to get that shipped. And, uh, and it's, uh, it's not, a lot of, not a lot of options. Uh, given the leeway uh, that you have to give the post office for deliveries nowadays. But anyway, I don't know what I'm going to do today. It's only a little less than seven miles to get to, to the, the road for Great Barrington. I don't need to go into town now, but part of me wants to go on, go into town and get a hotel uh, just to plan this kind of stuff out, make it a, make it a Nero. Um, another part of me wants to press on 20 miles as, as planned and uh, 22 miles, something like that. Um, we'll see. Bye. The AT passes by this monument uh, commemorating the last battle of Shays Rebellion. All right, I just came off trail right there across this little road, and there's trail magic, courtesy of... Yeah, so we are from the West Stockbridge Congregational Church, and this is put on by the uh, First Congregational Church in Sheffield and the Christ Church. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Hey, good evening. Um, so I'm bringing day 107 to a close. It is uh, well after 11 o'clock, 11.15 p.m. And as you can tell, I am in a motel again. I am continuing my platinum blazing ways. Um, so the last video I shot was me getting trail magic coming out on that road. So that's only, it was only like the seven mile mark from the shelter that I stayed at last night. And um, the more I stayed there talking with those fellas, um, talking about this, this town here, Great Barrington, Massachusetts, and, and uh, contemplating what I needed to do, I decided to just call today a Nero, go into Great Barrington, um, you know, burn another almost $100 for this small hotel. And it's not a bad little roadside motel, though. The uh, Monument Mountain Motel. It's, uh, it's right across the street from a Dollar Tree, a grocery store, um, and some restaurants. So uh, what did I do today? I mean, I've been, it's been a flurry of activity. So I've arranged through my, through my brothers, James and John in Kingsport to get some stuff sent to, sent to me. Namely, number one, all the rest of my trazodone since I'm going to be upping my dose to try to get through this, this, this hike. Um, uh, my uh, hammock under quilt and some other items to prepare for the cold weather and, uh, and the inclement weather um, that I'm expecting in Vermont and, and northward. So, um, and also uh, I had arranged with my son Keegan to get some colder weather clothing that I had sent to him after the Smokies uh, to have that returned to me also. So, you know, I was concerned about, you know, having that cold weather last night or something in the low 50s and being so cold. Uh, I think some of that was because of anxiety because it was like kind of cold sweaty kind of deal. And I should have been warm with what I was wearing. I had my, I had my down park on. So, you know, with the hood cinched up tight. So I, I should not have been as cold as I was. So I think some of it was anxiety related to, but, um, but I'm getting back pretty much everything that I had when I started this trip in April. Um, 
with the exception of my sleeping bag. So that was a big purchase uh, just within the last hour. I punched the button on a 15 degree um, top quilt, down top quilt. Um, you know, I would prefer to get something custom with a little better quality down, kind of like I did with the hammock under quilt, but I had to go with something stock. And I ended up getting it from Outdoor Vitals uh, through Amazon. So, um, you know, it just took a long time to figure out with with all three of these shipments, you know, where where these mail drops were going to be because we're talking five days out in the future. Um, so I planned out the five days, and they're going to be five short days. Um, there's a couple of shelters I definitely wanted to stay in. There's a hostel I definitely want to stay in on top of Mount Greylock. So... It's going to be short days for the next five days, stretching it all the way out uh, to Bennington, Vermont, um, where I uh, will be getting my last packages. So um, that's what I did today. Uh, I'm tired and uh, hope I sleep well. Uh, and I hope you do too. This is Wagner von Vanderbeg. Good night. Hey, good morning. <clears throat> day 108. And. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's a little after 9 o'clock, and i got to check out within two hours, and um, I should, should be able to accomplish that. So uh, I prepped my old shoes, those Lone Peak 3.5s that I've been carrying for the last two days. After two days, I'm, I'm comfortable with uh, having uh, the 5.0s. I'm not going to have any issues with those with the double sock system. And so I've got those packaged and in a mailbox here, in the hotel's mailbox. Uh, I went next door to the... Uh, uh, to a Marriott hotel and just walked in again like I went to place and, and printed out a label and uh, uh, on the shuttle in here yesterday from the person that was kind enough to, to give me a ride uh, one of the trail magic people actually um, I uh, he, he let me he stopped in at the post office so I got me a priority mail uh, envelope so so they worked out pretty well just takes time just takes time I uploaded another video this morning to get caught up again all right, real quick. So, you know, I was worried about uh, socks because I only had, through attrition, I had um, gotten down to just one pair of Ingenji liner toe socks and then one pair of Farm to Feet uh, lightweight wool outer socks, which with my previous shoes, my old shoes, which were too tight, I, I only wore one or the other. That worked fine, but the shoes were still too tight. So now with these, with these new shoes, uh, they're actually a little sloppy, so I need to go back to the double sock system, a liner plus an outer sock. So I only had one change of socks, right? Uh, one pair of liner socks, one pair of outer socks. So I was really stressing about that because at the last shelter I stayed at, the guy that was going southbound was talking about you know, how muddy Vermont was. And he said, get you some, get you some cheap socks and just change them out. I'm talking about people with trench foot and all that. So again, another source of anxiety. So I was stressing about, well, you know, what to do about that. And then the Trail Magic yesterday, I failed to mention the Trail Magic yesterday by this, it's rotating church groups that uh, run the same Trail Magic spot and tent. But, um, and, they, and they share the same supplies. But they had socks. And I picked up two pair. Now these, these aren't wool. Um, they're, they're polyester, uh, kind of a light to medium weight. Uh, so they didn't have any liner socks. So... A pair of those by themselves probably won't fill up the shoe properly. But then the Dollar Tree across the street, for a dollar, I got these lightweight polyester, uh, soft polyester, thin socks, which will serve very well as a liner sock. So, boom, two pair of sock sets. Uh, fantastic. And then I have uh, John and, and, and James and... and um, there's in, in the package they're sending me. They're sending me some uh, a couple pair of, of of good wool socks. So um, so that's going to be and, and some liner socks that I had already at the house. So um, and then I'll throw those uh, cheaper socks in a hiker uh, box when I when I get to one. But that worked out really really well. I mean it's just um, another one of those little things that happened yesterday that that kind of renewed my faith. Uh, you know, I'm, uh, so it's, there's, there's, there's little, definitely nuggets, nuggets yesterday. So that's given me some hope. It's going to be a beautiful day today. Very cool. A high is like mid seventies, you know, it's going to be cold tonight though. Again, low fifties, I'm thinking at the shelter. So, um, a little worried about that. We'll see how it goes. Bye.
I had access to a Dollar Tree. That's the only place you can get reading glasses for a dollar. So, uh, packing my fears, I'm going to ahead and get an extra pair since I tend to lose these things. I'll just throw it in the bottom of the pack and keep it for if I lose the one I have now. It's getting really scratched up anyhow. All right, it's 1130 and I'm back on trail. Uh, so there's a bypass around the flooded section of the Housatonic River just south of Great Barrington. And uh, I got dropped off at the uh, end of that bypass. So technically I'm yellow blazing maybe a mile, but uh, it's all rerouted anyhow. So uh, another uh, faith in humanity kind of affirming event. Uh, where I sent, I sent a text to Kate just out of desperation. I just, I was just, I didn't think I could get a hitch because there's turns to get here coming from where I was in Great Barrington and there'd be a difficult hitch. The bus wouldn't even get me there all the way. Um, so I, I sent a text to Kate who had offered to give me a ride yesterday. Ends up somebody else gave me a ride yesterday. It's a, that group from the, that was doing that trail magic. They were a, they were a congregational church in the area. And uh, she said she was unavailable, but she got her pastor, Pastor Jill, uh, came and got me and uh, brought me to the trail. Just fantastic, fantastic. Uh, so I'm only doing uh, 12 miles a day. That's it. To get to this uh, Wilcox South shelter. It's one of the nicer shelters, similar to the last shelter I stayed in. And uh, so, you know, low expectations. It's a beautiful day. Um, not going to rain, and it's pretty cool. So, I'm uh, I'm uh, optimistic, very optimistic. And uh, well, we'll see. So, keep on trucking, folks. I, I got to document this. Um, I, I'm in tears right now. But, uh, I crossed this road, and uh, I'll just put it back the way I found it. There's some, there was some trail magic here, but it's all gone. But look at that. I just put it back the way I found it. Two streak from Jill. Uh, Jill's the one that gave me the ride this morning to the trail. And inside, it's a mosquito head net that she gave me, left for me. Came here knowing I was going to cross this road and left this for me. And I have no way to... Get in touch with her, so I just called and left a message with Kate, who put me in touch with Jill, or who, who had Jill come and get me, to uh, thank her profusely. But uh, this was very special, very special. So the trail comes out here on Benedict Pond. Very pretty, pretty area. Somebody out there paddle boarding. 